friends welcome back to Lakeisha loves to plant so today I am um, doing a DIY I'm making just a simple easy basket of flowers all of these materials came from the Dollar Tree except these I got these from Hobby Lobby for about seven dollars but Dollar Tree also has some of these for just a dollar if you want to start off with those and um, and I'm just going to make a simple basket. There's nothing special about it other than um, if this is something you've never done before, I just want to show you how easy and simple it is. So first I'm going to cut this off of it and then I'm going to place this um, inside of it. It's actually two in here, but I'm going to leave them together and I'm not going to take the plastic off just so it can keep its shape. So I'm going to put this in here and then I'm going to take some of this um, Spanish moss and just put a little teeny bit around the bottom of it. Oh, okay. I'm just going to put a little teeny bit around it just so this is going to get a little messy. It won't look so um, empty. All right, I'm definitely gonna have to use my vacuum after I finish with this stuff. Okay, so now that that's covered, um, I go ahead. I went ahead and cut some of um, the stem off some of these flowers. So I'm just gonna stick them in here. Um, in a pattern and I'm going to start actually I want to put this one on this side this one on this side and just like just do a pattern here And I'm just going to work my way up. And these are leftover flowers from um, a project that I did for spring. So um, some of these are already cut, but I may have to cut more. So that's why I have. I actually, now that I'm almost finished with this, I am going to have to cut more. I'm going to have to cut more. Okay. So. Alright, so I'm going to put this to the side because that I'm finished. I just have a little bit more to go. Um, I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to start cutting these. And this Spanish moss, y'all, is so freaking messy. It's so messy. I have to clean up a little bit. Okay, so... Um, just give me a minute. I'm going to go through these flowers and cut these pesky tags off. And um, I just wanted to see if I could cut it with the scissors, but no, I'm going to have to use the wire cutter. But right now, I just need to cut these pesky little tags off. And I'm hoping to use all of these flowers because. I want to get new flowers for new projects and I hate having like leftover stuff, project stuff lingering because I feel like it just lingers forever. I have a lot of leftover project stuff for Thanksgiving and Christmas and it drives me nuts because no matter how much I have left and I'm thinking, oh, I, you know, I'm not going to buy anything next year. I always, 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 100% of the time, end up, end up buying new stuff or new projects while the old stuff is sitting there. So I have to do better with using like the old stuff. All right, so now I'm just about to take my um, wire cutters and cut like just down further enough to make these a little 
So I'm gonna make some short and some tall. So some I'm cutting short and some I'm cutting tall because I want the height of the flowers to vary. And I'm not gonna throw this away yet until I'm sure I don't need that part. So that's why I paid seven dollars for this because it's easy to cut. I've used a Dollar Tree wire cutters before and they're depending on what how the wire looks um, but for the most part if you if you are using like Dollar Tree faux flowers you need a good wire cutter because some of them are very hard to cut. All right and I just have two more of these to do. See pretty fast pretty fast. I've used these green, tall green stems before, like this part before in other projects. I don't like it. I don't like it. So if I could use it here, great. If I can't, I'm not going to worry about it because I've used it before and I didn't like it too much. And this is more flowery than planty, if that makes sense. So I don't care for using that. Oh. Oh, cut off. Oh, I had two in there. All right, good. All right, so now that I have all the plants cut, I'm going to go back in here and finish um, putting in over here. So, here we go. I'm trying to alternate the colors just so it look more professional and alternate the types of flowers so it could be a variety and my goal is to use every last one of these stems so I have to put them very close but I don't mind because it's going to make it look really full and cute and I don't know I have not decided where to put this in my house. So comment below to help me decide. Should I put this in my living room on like, I have a, a small sh white shelf that I keep like pictures on, family pictures on, a little knickknacks. Should I put it on that shelf, okay? Or should I put this in this room, this is my planner room. I already have a lot of crap in here, but and but they, these colors match the decorations in my planner room too. So um, even though I already have a lot of stuff in here, it will complement um, what I already have in here. So should I put it in the living room on my shelf? Should I put it? Um, in my planner room or should I put it in my bathroom because um, I'm going to be cleaning my bathroom and putting some making it look like more like a spa in my master bathroom so um, and you know how you might go to a spa and then you go in the bathroom and they have like a pretty flowers in there and it's calming and they have like calm music that's how I want my bathroom to be. So should I put it in the bathroom? All right, those are three places. Comment below um, and let me know which one I should put it in. All right, that is every last one of my flowers. So what I wanna do is I'm just going to stand up here and bend these like I want. And then once I finish bending, I'm gonna take this Spanish moss, which is so messy, and I'm going to finish putting that in the inside so it can see in here. I'm going to finish putting the Spanish moss in here. So actually, I can make this higher, actually. Let me see something. How about I do this? I put the moss in here all together. That will stop all that messiness like that. Necessity is the mother of invention because I need it not to get this stuff all over the place. And I hope no bugs are in here. Um, and I'm going to spread this out like this. 
don't even know what do they make this stuff out of because it's like dust and everything in here. Oh, we got sticks. This really came from outside, huh? What is that? Okay. All right, I gotta refocus. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty full. So then I'm just gonna take this part and place it in here. Let's see if I can just like gently cover it. So I like it makes it higher. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That worked. That worked. That worked, y'all. All right. So I want to take this camera down and show you this from a different angle, but I like the way the moss is in here. And I'm debating on whether I should, because I had some leftover ribbon. So I'm going to try to put the leftover ribbon around it and see if it doesn't look too Eastery. If it looks Eastery, I'm not going to do it. So let me try that. So I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to change the angle of the camera, y'all. All right, my friends. So it has been a doozy trying to clean up and everything. And you see my stuff is falling out. I'll get that. <laughs> but I like the way it turned out. It's very cute. Um, I looked at putting this on but this just reminds me of Easter I like cannot put it on so I'm gonna have to put this in a box with the other old stuff and just repurpose that some type of way but I like this um, I think it will look good in my bathroom I think this will go good because in my bathroom I have baskets I have a lot of baskets like this in my bathroom so I'm gonna try my bathroom and maybe I'll store something in here, like stick it in here to storage. I have no idea. But this is very simple. Everything in here was from the Dollar Tree. I had some leftover flowers from a wreath I had made for spring. And I bought some Spanish moss in this basket and the foam insert. And I cut it. And it came out cute. So... If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell, girl, if you want to see more content like this. And remember on my channel, I do planning, DIYs, and lifestyle. So thank you so much, and until next time, planner friends, I will see you later. Bye now.